So a good rich wash and a pitch of burnt sienna thrown in for good measure. So that's the shadow value and color of this building on the left. And as we come down, we can warm it up with more burnt sienna. Cerulean at the top and warmer at the bottom. Painting around this man's head. Keeping the sense of sunlight going. There are sandstone blocks. There's the vanishing point for all of the horizontal lines parallel to the street. So I have to make sure I remain faithful to that vanishing point just there and we'll have one coming out just a little bit above about there and another one coming down like that and gradually steeper and steeper. Now we have another brick building which you haven't been able to see yet which comes down here the street level. Again, where the building meets the sidewalk, that line points towards the vanishing point. Now let's move over to the other side while that's drying. I'm going to mix up some raw sienna, French ultramarine, and burnt sienna, and just indicate the edge of this building that comes down like so. And we have some pillars in here. So just painting around them. And they come down to some steps, which we can indicate like so. Now we have another sandstone building here. And as over here, we'll use the mixture of raw sienna, cerulean blue, and a touch of burnt sienna, just to indicate the shadow parts of this building. Here's the vanishing point. So we have to remain faithful to that. And then we have another one coming in this way. So if I extend that, it should be pointing to that woman's head.